Hi guys and welcome to Total Technic. If you're an Audi RS6 owner, the C5 platform, and you need to remove your engine or your gearbox for any reason, then believe it or not, this is the video for you. Now if you need to remove the engine from your Audi RS6, this is the, uh, the C5 version, uh, then this is absolutely the video for you. In this video we will be doing the complete uh, engine and gearbox removal and we'll be doing it in the DIY method, there's actually two ways of doing it, we'll be doing it in the DIY method which is the most likely way that you're going to need to be able to do this yourself at home. So let's explore that in more detail. Now it's very important to realise uh, before you get stuck into this project uh, that to remove the, uh, the engine from the RS6 is actually two main ways of doing it. Uh, one is per the Audi workshop manual and the second is the kind of DIY approach if you like. It's the DIY approach that we'll be covering in this video. Uh, if this was taken to an Audi main dealer uh, the car would be put on a, on a lift and they would actually disconnect the uh, front sub subframe, disconnect the uh, suspension uprights and they'd actually uh, put the engine down onto a platform with the gearbox and then they would lift the chassis of the car away from the gearbox and uh, from the engine and they would leave the engine and the gearbox sat on the platform uh, with this full subframe underneath it and the suspension uprights etc all still connected. Now that method of doing it is absolutely fine provided that you've got a lift. Uh, however most people that are looking to do this themselves and might be interested in this video we are assuming will not have their own lift and so this will be a more DIY orientated approach. Uh, now the, the engine can be removed on jacks and axle stands, no problem at all, and you can lift the entire engine from the front of the car in the kind of traditional, if you like, uh, engine lift uh, manner. So you can lift the whole engine with the gearbox straight out of the car, which is how we're going to be doing it in this video. Now as you can imagine, uh, removing a, a big engine such as this is, uh, is uh, quite an undertaking. There are a lot of uh, parts to be disconnected uh, and they obviously have to be done in the correct order and the correct manner. And what we'll do in this video, we'll do it step by step showing you each of the components to be uh, disconnected or removed uh, in the correct order so that you can easily follow it along at home. Uh, although we won't be, uh, be doing uh, an engine refit in this video, but when you come to refit your engine, you can refer back to this video and watch it in kind of backwards reverse order if you like to see where each little clip and each little uh, screw goes so you can make sure you get uh, everything absolutely perfect when you come to refit as well. Uh, but, but don't panic, if you're going to do this in your garage at home, we will literally take you through it step by step. Now, I've actually produced this video in the hope that we're going to save some people a lot of money. Uh, we do have to charge for this video, it is very specialist, uh, we're not going to get millions of views, it is a very very specialist thing, it's going to take a heck of a long time to film and even longer uh, to edit as well. So there's going to be days and days of work for us uh, involved in doing this for you. But our hope is that you're going to save money. If you took this job to uh, your local mechanic, you know, you're know, looking at £50 or $50 an hour, something of that nature, and you know, you're probably going to be looking at a good two or three days labour, you know, you're going to get a bill back that's in the thousands of pounds uh, for removing and reinstalling one of these engines. Uh, likewise, if you took the car to uh, an Audi main dealer, you know, it might be two or three times that amount. You know, it might be £100, $100 an hour or more, and then obviously that price is going to rocket through the roof. Um, so with a little bit of a, an investment, we're going to give you um, all of the kind of knowledge you need to actually get this removed safely from your car. So yes we do have to charge for it it's not something that unfortunately we can give away for free just because of the very specialist nature of it uh, we're not going to put it on youtube and then suddenly have a million people that want to uh, uh, but you know watch the video so that they can remove their rs6 engine it's going to be very specialist for a, a limited number of people so we do have to charge for it but hopefully you'll see value in it and uh, you can see that by buying this video you will actually save yourself one hell of a lot of money so thanks for listening guys, we really do appreciate it and we genuinely hope you will click the buy now option for this video and hopefully you're ready to get your sleeves rolled up and get down and dirty and we'll see you on the other side with this engine removed. 